In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to add hatch patterns in AutoCAD. This is a handy skill to have, especially if you want to add a bit more detail to your drawings or just make them look aesthetically pleasing. Adding custom hatch patterns is a straightforward process once you get the hang of it. So let's dive right in. First things first, we need to find the hatch pattern you want. Head over to your browser and look for a hatch pattern that suits your needs. There are numerous websites that offer free patterns, so you'll have plenty to choose from. Once you've found the perfect pattern, go ahead and download it. Typically, these files come in a compressed or zip format, so you'll need to extract the files. Make sure you know where they are saved on your computer, as you'll need to access them shortly. Now, open AutoCAD and get ready to make the magic happen. In AutoCAD, you'll want to start by typing OP on your keyboard. This opens up the Options menu, which is where we can adjust a few settings to accommodate the new hatch pattern. Press Enter to bring up the Options dialog box. Once you're there, navigate to the Files tab. Here, you'll see a list of paths related to the software. Look for the Support File Search Path drop-down. This is critical because it's where AutoCAD looks for various support files, including our hatch patterns. Expand this drop-down by clicking on it, and you'll see a list of paths. You're aiming for the path that ends with NU plus support. It's usually the first option on the list, but it may vary depending on your setup. Double-click on this path to open its location on your computer. Now it's time to paste the hatch pattern file you downloaded earlier. The file should end with a pat extension. Simply drag the file over to this folder or copy and paste it, whichever you prefer. With the pat file in place, you can close the options window. Now, it's time to see your new pattern in action. In the AutoCAD command line, type hatch and hit enter. You'll be taken to the hatch creation tab. Here, look for the section labelled Options on the ribbon. There should be a small arrow icon next to it. Clicking this will open the Hatch and Gradient settings. In this window, you'll see a section labelled Type. Click on the drop-down menu and select Custom. This tells AutoCAD that you're planning to use a custom hatch pattern. Next, click on the Swatch located within the settings. This is where you'll find your custom pattern. The pattern you added should now appear in the list. Select it, apply it to your drawing area, and watch as it transforms your project with the new design. And that's all there is to it. With these steps, you can easily incorporate new and exciting hatch patterns into your AutoCAD projects. Enjoy experimenting, and don't hesitate to mix patterns for creative results.